What's going on, y'all? Doing a morning work video. And this morning I got out and I did my work with this Ego Hedge Trimmer. Hey, this thing is pretty amazing. I really enjoy using it. What can I say about it? I went out this morning and I used one battery. Just this battery. I think this is a 2.0. 2.0. I went out and I used this one battery and everything that I shot in this video, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in before or after this clip, probably after now. I shot it using just this one battery. I'm gonna try and keep this video short, but I wanted to do a video about this Ego uh, hedge trimmer. So check out this footage and then I'll do a walk through the yard and show you what I did with it this morning. So check this out, yesterday I came through, I used the hedge trimmer on this right here. Did a real good job, real easy. Even cleaned out through here real good so there was easier access to the utilities. But I did a good job. We are gonna walk through those woods right quick, but let me show you some other stuff that I didn't do in the yard. Hey, the flower beds are looking nice. Let's go on this side right quick. Still gotta work on this area, but it's keeping the water down. I wanted to show you all these hostas. Oh, some of them are coming in very, very nice. Look at these. Look at how big this is. I believe this one is called Sum and Substance. This one is huge. Look at it in comparison to all the rest. And I don't even think it's close to being done. I think this is the second year I had these here uh, on this side. But I'm really happy about how these are turning out. They're looking really nice. All of these are just hostas. Uh, my flower beds are like this because this is easy to maintain while I'm doing other work in the yard. Like, I don't have time really to go out and tend the flowers. Kind of like, look at that. Those are pretty cool. These are called bearded irises. Those are gonna be nice. Let's take a look at something I did yesterday. And I did this for two reasons. I'm gonna try and keep this short, yeah, I, I promise. I did this for two reasons. One, this is where every time they come and mark my yard, this is where they mark my electrical line going, right here. Now, I don't know how deep it is right here, but I wanna make sure I never dig or cut in this area. So what I did, I'm gonna start bringing my rocks in this area. Eventually, when I get my piping, that I can run. I'm gonna run a pipe through here and out this way, and then I'll try and gravel in this area. And I'll do the same thing over there. And let's get back in the woods right quick so I can show y'all what I did with this hedge trimmer. This is some of what I cut through with the hedge trimmers. I'm gonna show y'all some of the sizes that were able to be cut. If you look, look at those right there. There's my finger, cut through those pretty easy. It does a pretty good job. It, it, I mean, it cuts through things pretty easily. I enjoy coming out here because it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. You can come out early in the morning while people are sleeping, don't have it running like a chainsaw. Like you can hear a chainsaw over there running. But people don't feel comfortable coming out too early with uh, equipment like that, in my opinion. I did this area right here. I mean, it's a lot. And I'm gonna leave this on the ground. I'm not worried about it. It'll actually put something in these ruts so that I don't get stuck. I uh, came through here, cleaned this area right here. That way, I didn't do this on camera. Uh, I did some of this on camera. I mean, just for a quick video in the morning, it's easy to come out and do work with Ego. 
tools. They don't make much noise. Nobody's ever really bothered by them. Came through, I cut this out, and I trimmed this out right here. And then this morning, I think I'm gonna take Penny and uh, get some more rocks and start finishing up that area. And I'm gonna fill it in. And hopefully when the water settles there, it won't be a muddy spot. Got a little bit more I'm gonna clean up, but not too worried about it. The trails are looking good. Still don't really wanna bring Penny back here because I'm sure some of these areas are still very, very muddy. But as soon as I get some wood chips or uh, the ability to put the box blade on, I will be coming and dragging the, dragging the trails. If you look right here, this is where I got stuck with Penny the last time. We will not have that happen again. But I think I'm gonna get a winch or something to make sure that that don't happen. I don't know. Oh, I didn't tell ya. I didn't cut the grass twice and it's actually pretty level. I mean, not level, but I don't have any areas that are getting hit with the lawnmower blades. The yard is turning out pretty nice. This is uh, the second cut since I did the poor man French drain. Let me show y'all what that looks like. Oh, I ain't tell you a couple different areas. Like this area right here has become a very, very low spot, but I will be digging this stump out eventually. So when we come through and gravel this area, this won't matter. But I'm finding out where my low spots are. Uh, I'm gonna try and maybe rent a level when I do this and get a tiller and I'll try and grade it, try and get a good slope. I don't know about all that yet, but we will be learning. Just showing y'all what's going on in the yard. I showed y'all what I did with the hedge trimmer. That thing is pretty good. I did a lot for one battery and it was still going, but I decided to quit. I only gotta do a little bit every day. I got other things I gotta do, but I try and come out, get about whatever my morning walks used to be, now I get them done in the yard. Y'all got to see what that was. Hey, your boy got some things you gotta take care of. Much love, much respect. Thank you for tuning in. We out.